Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to solve lit group problem number 98, validated binary search tree. It's a medium difficulty level problem. So to solve this problem, you should know what binary search tree is. So let me just show you what it is. Well, uh, for a tree to be a binary search tree, each node to the left is less than the root node and each node to the right is greater so this is always less this is always so we always have this symbol here greater so if this were to be two then this would this could be one because one is smaller than two and this node could be a three because three is greater than two so basically what we have here is one is less than two is less than three so this is also called pre-order traversal in a binary search tree where um you traverse the left child first before traversing the node and then you traverse the node and then you traverse the right child and these uh, sequence are in an ascending order let me add more nodes to this thing here so suppose i have one more node to the um, left which is equals to value maybe minus 3 and then I cannot have a value to the right because I have a 1 and I have a 2 here so what about this uh, I could still not have it to any value to the left so to the right I could have a value maybe 5 so still this is uh, following the binary search tree rules so this is what binary search tree is let me make a new tree here suppose i have something like 31 which is the root node and then to the left i can have anything which is less than 31 so suppose i have 25 here and then to the right i could have anything which is greater than 31 suppose i have a 50 here and then to 25 to the left i can have anything which is less than 25 which is 23 uh, here i could have anything greater than 25 which could be but still you know i could have anything greater than 25 but it should always be less than 31 because here this this thing um this node is to the right of this so of course this should be greater than 25 suppose it is 27 and this node is to the left of this root right so that is what we need to always keep in mind so this will always be this way and so for this uh, node as well and every time we still follow the sequence like 23 is less than 25 and 27 25 is less than 27 and here if these don't have any nodes any nodes here any child nodes then 27 is less than 31 and 31 is less than 51 and suppose i have another root here 37 and suppose a uh, 52 here so when i perform a transaction so how can i now check if it is a valid so a valid um, binary search tree so basically what i'm doing is i'm checking in the sequence 23 less than 25 which is less than 27 which is less than 31 and then i go right to the bottom left and then 37 is greater than 31 which is the previous one and 37 is greater than 31 and basically like 50 is greater than 37 52 is greater than 50 so we always keep on checking on the sequence there so so basically what are we doing is we keep track 
of the previous so we are doing a depth first search here dfs so in dfs we go to the bottom left and then we assign um, that becomes our point of st evaluation starting point and then uh, with that value i evaluate the root node and then uh, five should be greater than one so which is greater than one right so five is greater than one and then i go back to this tree here to the right and to the left again and then i see three should be greater than five is it no then we return a false if it were greater than 25 we return a true and so on so let me dive into the code um function where i pass the root and then return fs to root node and what i do here is um i set my previous okay previous equals to some number which is the list number because every other number should be uh because the range here range is minus 21 to power 31 so it should be the least so that even if this is the number we we need to check uh in a sequence and in the sequence the next uh, node in the root is greater than the previous node so negative infinity i'll just put a negative infinity here and then uh, what i do is if root then return true which means that we have reached the end of the root and then um check call the right node i mean we are going to the left return false else previous equals to r and and then we go to our right side and then if that's false we'll return false again here as we return to everything is fine so far then we return to so what i'm doing here is i start from my root node and then for my root node um I call the dfs function and then i go to the left so i go to the left and then uh to the left of again i call the function again so now r is one r is this node and then um i, I again go to the left of that node which is a null so basically r is null here so we, it returns a true so i get a true here true is not of true is false so this doesn't get executed and then now my previous becomes r which is value one and now i again go to the right of this node and uh, which is a null value again because one doesn't have a right so null which will also return a true here and since at the end uh, we will return true so basically for five that left we uh, got the value true here so uh, since we got the value true for root node five when we are traversing to the left uh, our previous value is was one earlier right now our previous value is equals to two uh, equals to five and then we traverse right so we go to the right uh, so we go to five right of the five which is four and then for four we go to the left so we go to the left of four which is equals to three and then we again go to the left of three and now we know three doesn't have any left or right child which will return 
true when we uh, true and then the previous becomes equals to three and the right of three which is also null it will return a true and then finally it returns true when we called the left of the four here so this is true then uh, our previous now becomes equals to four um, and now um, I call the right of the four which is equals to six so I call the right of the four and then I call the left of the six which is null so it, this will return true now uh, my previous value is equals to six so far and then it will again call um, the right of the six which is null so at the end it will return true when I'm calling right of the four so what i'm calling right of the four from here it's returning true so finally it returns true when i call the right of the five i will check this before i do this okay let's submit this so the time complexity would be O of M because we are traversing the DFS, the number of times there are nodes. So that's O of N and the space complexity is O of 1. Okay guys, have a great day.